Yeah, I mean, obviously, she's. it's always going to be a tough battle with her. Um, I, I'm just really proud of how I was able to stay mentally focused and not let the nerves get the best of me. She's come back from pretty much every score possible, probably, so I was really keen on getting that first match point done. How much did the crowd help? You guys have no idea. That was so cool. Um, I've never played in front of a stadium that filled before, um, so it was pretty awesome to have like the majority of everyone cheering for me. Um, such an emotional few days and weeks for you. How do you just rein it all in and then kind of get back to work every day? Uh, I think if I don't fully process it, then I'll never have to fully deal with it. Um, <laughs> No, I, uh, I just, when I go back to the hotel, I just think about how awesome uh, of an opportunity it is and what a great experience it's been this week and that nobody can take that away from me. So I'm just, I'm so happy about it. Can you, can you, can you talk about that celebration and what was it like for you when you saw the video? <laughs> again? Uh, so Ellen Perez on Twitter was like, you add a second to your celebration every win. So she was expecting a three second celebration. I tried to make it a little more dramatic. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it was exciting because I hit an ace, which I never do. So that was exciting. And then I could finally let my emotions get to me. Um, and it was just so, it was like the crowd roared. Like it was such a cool environment and yeah, when I looked back, I was like, oh, you cried. What a little baby. <laughs> but all my friends told me they cried too, so I guess that's okay. Congratulations on your win today. Um, what do you attribute your success to at this opening? Well, how's your preparation coming? Uh, it's been really good. Um, I feel like I've surrounded myself with a good team. Um, and since Wimbledon, I've been able to accumulate a lot of... Um, little life chips, like little little wins as we, we, we call it stacking up the wins, you know, even if you lose a match, what you're able to take away, um, the positives and being able to just keep that building and then one day you'll be able to have little towers and I feel like that's what I've been able to really hold on to this week is in those tough moments, um, know that I've been playing really good tennis and the tennis that I've been playing um, has been not just, you know, I'm not just treeing out of my mind. It's like I've, I've backed it up. So that's even a better feeling. Now that your power has a view of the fourth round, what does that look like? I didn't hear your you. Power of yeah, now the tower. Now that you have the view of the fourth round, like what does that look like now that you see yourself in the second week? It's like the Empire State Building <laughs> now. <laughs> no, uh, it's, yeah, it's like, I feel like the tennis has been the same, but it's just, the ability to mentally dig in a little bit deeper in those tough moments. And I feel like that's what's really been stacking me these past couple weeks. Can you get Mertens next? Who mm -hmm. I know you played recently mm -hmm. and also here before. Did you talk about each of those yeah. matches? Uh, so I played her here in 2016, last round of qualies. And that was my first time being uh, at the playing in qualities of the U.S. Open since 2000, since high school, 2009, um, and it was a really tight, close match. I remember feeling so nervous and feeling just dis uh, so disappointed when I lost a tight second set. I think, um, and then you know, then she became top 20 in the world. Like, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> and then the last time that we played, she, I think it was like her first hard court match since. Um, or her first match since Wimbledon, her first hard court of the season. Uh, and I had probably like six or seven. So they're like, I, to kind of put those together, it'll be really cool. Obviously, we're both in very di different places from both of those um, tournaments. So I think it'll just come down to who's able to take in the moment better because obviously we're both playing pretty good tennis right now. Does it help you having a familiar opponent in the unfamiliar stage, I guess? Uh, not necessarily. I think it would have been cool to play someone I've never played before as well, just because you don't know each other's games and you kind of want to see. I don't know. I feel like it's cool to play different people. And yeah. Uh, congrats. Um, being from the East Bay, could you maybe give a word on Farood? And is there any experience or lesson 
from Stanford in particular that you're taking with you? Uh, yeah, so Lily texted me after my second round win and whenever Lily sends you a text, it's like you're getting a message from like the president or someone. It's like, guy, I like send a text to all my teammates, like Lily texted me. They're like, oh my God, she never texts us. Um, so that was exciting, but uh, she's definitely taught me how to um, keep my like composure and she does a she does that better than anyone else and especially in those tight moments um, to keep a clear head and just keep moving forward and just don't look back yeah this is someone asked Taylor Townsend today if she found value in her journey and the ups and downs and everything and I, I wanted to ask you the same thing and and just being able to finally get your first Grand Slam major match one and then now in the second week what, how do you reflect on your journey and what was the biggest values I get that you get out of it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd be lying if I said, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm so happy I didn't, you know, like, I didn't find success right away. Like, but uh, to be transparent with myself as well, I wouldn't, I don't know if I ever would have gotten this far if this had happened at a different time in my life. I feel like everything has come, like I've had a lot of closure with myself in different uh, scenarios. So I feel like this is a build up accumulation of everything that has, so yeah, pretty much. Um, and a less like, oh yeah, every up and down was worth, you know, it was like, yeah, a lot of it sucked. <laughs> Um, especially when you think about hanging the racket up a couple times along the way. Um, so to be able to, I mean, I couldn't have even, I, I literally didn't even think about this moment right now, fourth round, second week, until this morning. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool to make second second week? I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm. But up until, he, until now, it's literally just been like second to second. So haven't even... I still can't process what just happened, to be honest. It's cool to make second week, and how would it still make quarterfinals? Couldn't tell you yet. <laughs> Apparently, I'll think about it the, the morning of. <laughs> that seems to be my tradition. Yeah, I, I figure, you know, it's like when you like procrastinate, like you only give yourself an hour to write the paper. If I only give myself an hour to think about quarterfinals, then I won't freak out. I'll only freak out for the hour before. <laughs>